Hey, what's up guys? It's me. I'm back, sorta. Um, and I just wanted to open this. I just got finished at the barn. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a lot of interesting things to come, so look out for those. <laughs> So for my outfit of the day, I just have this plain white athletic shirt with this black belt. I don't really know where it's from. Um, and these burgundy Dover breeches and just some plain black socks. So with the current situation being as it is, there are a few changes in place at my barn. In order to keep everyone safe and healthy and still riding. Um, so one of those is that I have to take all of my stuff home. So, uh, there's my saddle and bridle. And then saddle pads, grooming kit, halter, all that. And then my personal stuff is in the back. So I just went to the barn. Bud. He's not very really interested in me right now. I forgot to record the very beginning of me grooming him. The amount of flies that I saw at the barn was just crazy. It's April! I think these grooming clips really give away something about his personality. Then of course while I was using the hard brush I got a bit distracted with giving him pony cuddles. My trick is to spray a little fly spray in the soft brush and brush him with it in order to layer on the fly spray just a little bit thicker. I like to put on his boots first so that they're out of the way. Next I just put on his saddle and of course drop the girth. Step was throwing on his bridle, and of course, I dropped his kinton.
And that's it. We're ready. We're all ready to ride. So handsome. That looks all tangled, but it's not. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. So, uh, this nut job just spooked at birds over there while I had my phone and one star up only. There he goes again. Well, we'll see how this goes. Please, just a minute. Dear, I'll never catch you while I'm this small. Curious butterflies. You mean bread butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? The main focus of this ride was mainly to just get him down in the bridle as well as collection and extension in the trot. who had like he was holding a stick or something um and i don't really know what the stick was but um he stopped and talked to us and he was like oh my gosh your horse looks so gentle and nice that's my kind of horse and i was like oh yeah you would never guess that he was off the track and, he, and we just talked for a little bit and i was really proud of tuscan because he just stayed still he didn't um move and especially because the guy was holding a stick i thought he was gonna react really badly i thought he was gonna um kind of spook a little bit because he's been a little spooky today come on i know um but today he like spooked at a bunch of birds and so with the stick and the unknown guy walking towards him i thought that we were for sure gonna have an issue but we did not and now he's being so good about walking away from the barn um yeah spend some quality time with him because I feel bad about just coming to ride because um, right now we are in a state of emergency where I live and I think the whole country but um so my barn has put in place some regulations so that we can all stay safe and one of those regulations is I don't catch or turn him out because that would be me touching a gate I keep all my tack with me and he's put in a pen like over there so that he's ready for me when I get here like I still have to groom I still have to do everything it's just he's he's caught for me already and that's something I think we should all be aware of just to go easy on people because this time is really hard and I think we should be doing all we can to make sure our horses are cared for, exercised, and just feel loved during this time, especially because a lot of people, they won't leave their houses. And so horses just have no idea where their people went. And it's hard for horses too. So we just got to take some time. 
So that's why I'm letting him give a little hand graze, just chill out. We're chilling out together. All right, guys, that'll be it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, keep looking out for new videos. Hopefully I'll be posting a little bit more with this whole quarantine thing. That's my goal. Um, but yeah, just remember to stay safe and stay positive. Bye, guys. <laughs>